So it's a lovely day and I've got the sun right above me trying to get through this white willow and um, just sitting outdoors making something to eat. It's not too windy but a little bit of breeze kicks up so just to make that work more efficient and keep the flame directly under what I'm cooking just put the wind guard and adjust that as and when I need to. Recently there's a lid to the saucepan take the kettle upside down there's the lid and the handle and there's the saucepan with the folding handles that I'm going to be utilising to cook up some of the food. Little six foot by three foot plastic tarp which if I did need to use it I can use it as an emergency shelter if I need to but just using it as a convenient place to put to put all and sundry because I brought everything in the canoe you know I don't have to be minimalist of using one container you know to cook something because I've got something to boil up and also something to fry which I'll show you in a moment the ingredients of the meal that I'm going to make I've also brought in this rucksack my stainless steel mess tin with a folding handle that goes over sort of nice and rectangular good surface area which tends to be much better for frying or sauteing your vegetables and meat uh, than actually using a, a high sided billy can mess tin Fold up round a lot of plastic bags, you can't do the washing up, it's good just to put your dirty um, cooking utensils once you've wiped them out a little bit, um, just in a bag to take home because I'm not having to live out and keep the stuff clean for second use. If that fails, hexi stove, two litres of water. Okay, I've got lamb chops in there, brew kit biscuits, sweet corn part of the main meal, and in the box, got carrot for cash, our cash, you want a carrot? Yeah, a little treat, that keep me happy for a while, <laughs> onion, sweet red pepper, sort of a bit of confectionery there, um, a lamb stock cube, so I'm having bulgur wheat, which is seasoned uh, with mushroom and sort of mild spices, lamb steaks, red pepper, onion, and a little bit of stock. Squidged tomato sauce, always have that back up, and a clove of garlic to chop up. So I'm gonna saute fry the onion and red pepper, and then add the thinly sliced lamb, which I took out of the freezer last night and packed up in the bag, so it's just still cool now, so it wouldn't have perished. So I'm gonna slice that up, cook it with the onion and the red pepper and the garlic, just gently. And then when that softens, then I'll leave it in there and then I'm going to boil up the bulgur wheat with the 450ml of water in the saucepan and when that's cooked, put it in there. One might say, well why not boil the bulgur wheat and then put the onion in with it, but it's just a different flavour. Plus well, I've got the canoe so I could bring everything near enough but a kitchen sink. What better place to be? Making my bank holiday Monday dinner on a little backstream riverbank. Okay, so I chopped up the red pepper, onion and the garlic on the lid of the plastic container and the lamb I was able to cut up on the actual plastic tray with the uh, film cover that it came in the packaging uh, on this, that was quite a handy little sort of cutting surface with the Mora 
wait, 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 wait. Good girl, there you go. Little treat, treat dinner, good girl. You've got to witness this. <laughs> Very seldom am I lost for words. And in a situation like this, except for one. Yummy. Nice brew. Cheers, people. <laughs> that was less of a slurp on the second one. Now I'll do it in total silence. OK, I'm just starting to tidy up. I don't need to do a lot of washing up because I'm not reusing the stuff again. I'm going to pack up and paddle back and then just basically go home. So I rinsed out the lid of the container where I would obviously cut up some of the uh, vegetables and just wipe that over just so it, it get rid of the smell obviously I'm still going to wash that and then the mess tin and then the rubbish the rubbish I put in a little carry bag like that screwed it up crunched it up and then if you can imagine that stainless steel mess tin I opened up the bag like that placed it centrally in there and then twisted it as you can see there but then what it does, it makes a double surface. So instead of just sort of folding it over and then you've just got the single surface there. After I've twisted it, I then folded it back on itself. So it's got like two layers over the top. So it just makes it stronger and then tied it, obviously. The mess tin was, um, you know, appropriate size to do that. So you can see it's actually got double surface on the top. So it just makes it a little bit more um, easier when you're taking stuff in the bag. So, you know, nothing sort of leaks or there's less chance of it because I've doubled over all the surfaces and then just rinsed out. But as I say, they're not uh, squeaky clean, so I'm gonna wash them when I get home. So now I'm gonna pack everything back into the bag where it all came from. Just listening to it. Don't know if you can hear that. I'm waiting for a high chirp, which is the kingfisher, but I haven't heard any this afternoon.